All right, so here's the heavyweight hopeful Curtis Razor Blades. He's done a whole lot of winning in the UFC. It seems like most of the guys he tries to take down, he is able to do so. What have you seen from Curtis Blades thus far in the octagon? Curtis Blades has only been beaten by Francis Ngannou in his UFC career. So when you set him against anyone else, he's the guy that is more likely to get his hand raised. It's the wrestling ability. It's the cardio. And it's the underrated striking of Curtis Blades that makes him one of the best heavyweights in the entire world. Won a Juco National Championship as a wrestler at Harper College. That came after he earned a full ride to Northern Illinois University. Looking to put his best foot forward here tonight and potentially earn his first UFC championship opportunity. So here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. But his striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the feet? Tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Curtis Racer. And now he's the champion fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Espinosa! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Just ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and the wins and bonuses just continue to pile up for the budding heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five to a player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. left hand just missed. All right, early round one action here as the fighter engages in the clinch. And again, we don't know the striking discrepancy here, but you got to think the wrestler is going to pursue these situations in this match. I mean, he spent his lifetime here. He spent his lifetime in close. So he gets to the clinch, he gets chest to chest, and he's comfortable. No matter how good his opponent is in terms of overall skills, he is so well versed here that he feels like he is in the advantage position. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one, hands up, chin down. Nice jab by Aspinall. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, beautiful the uppercut. Oh, nice. He rocked him 
pretty good, but he didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent got it. Blood in the water, you gotta go. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 20 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.